Hey, we're here at the uh, AVN Las Vegas Adult Industry Awards. So we have a team of about 30 people. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna bring light into the darkness, we're gonna watch and see how things begin to progress as we unfold destinies of people that they, they don't see, they don't know, the hidden treasures, things inside them that they're not even aware of. A pastor's family. Oh, a pastor's family? <laughs> You're a PK. Yes, I am. Oh my God. I'm going to tell you something. I want you to hear me. Okay. The unconditional love mm -hmm. doesn't fail. I know. Okay. I'm going to actually get cry. Unconditional love never fails. Okay. Would you do it? Yep. So you love it on go. There's a band for you. Okay. And you know what, what, what you're going to find is in the sex of the world. It's going to be new, new goals. And new things that you're going to love. Wait, wait. Your, Wait, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything at all. Can you tell me what you can say to me? Today, we're with Hadley, and we, and we saw her uh, skin art and just got to begin to tell her some things about it. So we just want to ask her, well, how did that feel and what happened with that? Um, it was awesome. You guys literally got it like spot on about my tattoos. Can I hug you? I'm a mama. I got this vision back in 2003. I was actually teaching a dream course on an Indian reservation and I had a prophetic dream and then God spoke to me almost audibly the next morning and told me to begin to create stations where people could receive healing, they could receive prophetic word, they could receive dream interpretation or anything that they were going through spiritually, we wanted to be available to help them. We have the real answer. We're the ones who should be connecting to God to be able to answer their questions, give them a word, give them something that will guide their path back to the one who made them and loved them and died for them. We meet them there and then the Holy Spirit takes over and he begins to give them an encounter only he can give. And they come back, they bring their friends, they're, they're rocked. It's been the most uh, treasurable moment that I've had so far in Burning Man. The name Jesus has become an enemy to the person because of the way he's been represented and what people think of him. And so God just very specifically said, I want you to identify me by my attributes and by my character. In other words, we have an opportunity and an invitation and almost a mandate to redefine Jesus to a generation that thinks he's something else. So we call him the giver of life. We call him mercy. We call him comfort. We call him healer. We call him counselor. We call him shame taker. We call him love, the lover of your heart, the lover of your soul, the one who can restore, the one who will bring life. We call him creator. We call him the spirit of truth. So we call him the spirit of truth who opens up the way to give you life. Basically that was the most incredible, pure, and deeply cleansing experience of my entire life. I'm a Reiki master. I've gone to school for these type of things and nothing I've ever experienced in my life compares to what I just had. It was peace, it was easy, it was pure, clean, and it was exactly what I came to Burning Man this year for. That's the moment I've been looking for since I got on the planet. So thank you, whoever's watching this, all of you, this has been a beautiful experience. Thank you so much. This happened um, almost 30 years ago. I was 18 years old. Wow. <laughs> Your life is that the window is being rolled down in the station wagon. It's a family vehicle. And you're being given an opportunity to jump in. And you'll be spared. And you'll be saved. I believe that. Thank you. Wow, that's quite an interpretation. The outreaches and the training is quite different than probably what anyone else has done before because we fly below the radar. We're secret service. We don't go out and show everything we have and speak loudly about God and Jesus and everything. And we do it for a reason, because we're in wolf land. Jesus sent 70 people out and he said, you're going out like sheep among wolves, therefore, you be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And that's kind of our position. And because we do it like that, we've been able to have a longer lifespan of outreach efforts. 
good stuff. It's good soil.